Richmond, who will speak more about it uh, as well to the dignitaries here and to everyone. The Honourable Minister of Health and uh, the Minister of Industries, Dr. Ramesh Mathirna. Welcome. Good morning to all of you. Uh, Dr. Hyder Dias, representing the United Nations Industrial Development Organization. Uh, Dr. Johan Hess, representing the European Union. Uh, Mr. Membrin, representing the World Trade Organization. Our friends from Japan, His Excellency Kotaro, and also Excellency Yamada Tetsuya, representing JICA. And the, uh, the Sri Lankan officials, representing the Minister of Plantation and Minister of Industries. Also, Dr. Sahara Tri Silva. Represent Spice Council of Sri Lanka, ladies and gentlemen. So it's a great pleasure indeed to be here in this morning, uh, especially thanking all the foreign partners who have contributed immensely for the obtaining of the protected geographical indication for Sri Lankan cinnamon. I was, I was talking to uh, Dr. Hairo in the morning, I said I want to thank Unido specifically. He said, No, no, Minister, you have to thank European Union. And Dr. Johannes, if you want further strength and financial support for this project. So I uh, thank everyone, including European Union, UNIDO, and all the other stakeholders who have come forward to support during the last couple of years' time to strengthen uh, Sri Lankan cinema sector in its value addition. For the first time in the history, the Sri Lanka had obtained the protected geographical indication for its uh, valuable product. We have a history of more than thousands of years covering this particular subject, cinnamon, cinnamon, cinnamon. It's a famous product all over the world. Even though it's a famous product all over the world, even the Europeans first conquered Sri Lanka, starting from 16th century, uh, searching for Sri Lankan cinnamon and other spices, it had not uh, received the value it uh, has in, in that product and also other spices of the country. So we have uh, gone ahead passing the first hurdle in obtaining the geographical indication. The second, uh, the task is with us actually, the help of the other international players. It's uh, up to us to ensure that the Export Development Board of Sri Lanka and also the Export Agricultural uh, the Department of Sri Lanka ensure that at a different level that we strengthen the value chain starting from farmers to the exporters. So as Dr. has highlighted, there are five steps in order to ensure that every step strengthen and our, uh, the, we find uh, better markets in the world. As you know, Sri Lankan cinnamon, as at now, the major part goes to Mexico and Latin American countries. But there's a huge market that needs to be explored in North America as well as in the European entities. And also not forgetting the Eastern countries like China and Japan. For all that, it's a great strength for us to have this geographical indication. But let us work together. We want to be made to understand some of the Sri Lankan farmers have already obtained the, the, the process validation. But we want to ensure that we go uh, up in the scale and we, we ensure that we strengthen our export markets as well. So which we need your continuous support. And also going from cinnamon, we have earmarked to uh, ensure that we include nutmeg, flow and mace in that process as well, for which uh, we are starting our discussions today. But I should also mention at this particular moment, we have started uh, our applications for Ceylon tea as well. It's being processed now. We are the backdrop of the shrinking tea market worldwide. It was nearly 7.5 billion in 2022, if I'm not mistaken. It's come down to 7 billion export market worldwide for tea, shrinking worldwide by nearly 5% annually. It's a threat for Sri Lankan economy. Even though we managed to obtain 1.3 billion export income last year, as it's 1.2 uh, billion in 2022. It will be a daunting task today for us to retain that market. When it comes to tea, cinnamon, or coconut products of ours, what we see is our brand is not that strong. Yes, we have a good couple of brands in Sri Lanka, representing in Ceylon tea, but our value addition is about nearly 40%. It's an negligible amount once you consider that one. It's uh, value addition means again up to five kilogram packs are considered as value additions, but the brand is not that strong. The same scenario with Ceylon Cinnamon as well. There are no strong brands. That's why we are stagnant at a level of about 300 million US dollars historically. They've gone up to 387 million last year. 
uh, for all the, 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 the export income from all the spices of the country. It's again a negligible amount, I would say. But during, uh, I must mention at the same time, during the time of economic crisis that we encountered in 2022, and also uh, the post-COVID situation in 2021 and 2020, uh, 2020 Sri Lanka farmers did extremely well. Despite the fuel shortages we encountered in the country, despite the fertilizer shortages we experienced in the country, partly due to erroneous for policy decisions that we made, uh, our, our agricultural sector performed well. The historical highest figure we obtained in 2022, we went up to 4.4 billion export income from tea, rubber, coconut, and spices. They come down to uh, 3.6 billion last year due to many different reasons, including global recessions affecting our export income from the agricultural sector. Yet we have a uh, strong belief that we should be able to go to further heights in relation to our, our crops. Our coconut has started doing well. We reached a nearly 1 billion US dollar income from rubber products. And spices have a strong way forward with your support. So, so let us be assured, whatever the support that you may require from Sri Lankan side to ensure that our products go to uh, global markets, they are branded and they are sustainable and they are you know, produced in ethical manner, we will work together with all the international stakeholders to ensure our products go to further heights. So in that regard, whatever the assistance that you may require from the Ministry of Industries, Ministry of Plantation, and also our Honorable Nidhu Mahamdam is here the, the, for the investment promotion. Please be assured, we will give you nothing but the best on behalf of the people of the country. So I thank you, and I wish you a fruitful day ahead. All the best, and have a pleasant day ahead. Thank you very much.